Hello. Um, today I just wanted to come on and say uh, uh, thank you for the uh, <clears throat> over uh, 400 subscribers. It's been like that for a while now, but um, I see it. The number keeps growing every so slightly every uh, <clears throat> few days or so. Um, so, just wanted to come on and say thank you. Um, uh, and I guess also uh, self-promotion of my uh, books. Um, the Wandering Sheriff. Um, it's a western. Um, takes place in the uh, mid-1880s. And there's a you know, violent gang that's going around in the uh, uh, southern western uh, United States and a bounty hunter is out looking for him and uh, yeah um, now Texas is fairly small and um, I've been working on to try to uh, fix that but for some reason the uh, uh, The, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, the whatever I'm trying to tell, uh, say, uh, the app, uh, or, or stuff, or whatever it is, you know what I mean, and the word has now completely disappeared from my mind, and it'll probably only return once I'm done with this video, so it's not even worth continuing to try and think of the word. At this uh, moment in time, but you know, uh, software app, whatever you want to call it. Um, for some reason, when I went to format it, it just wouldn't do it the way it, it seems so. And as a result, when doing it for Amazon, this is the big the font is, and um. Uh, also, I wasn't able to initially get the page numbers, even though it said so beforehand, but for whatever reason, that was not the case. And, um, but I was able to at least get the numbers, at least for the beginning of all the chapters, oddly enough, but, um, Program, I think that's a better word. Program that I used, I think that's what I was searching for too. Um, I might just have to go and uh, recopy all the, you know, the uh, the entire uh, book, uh, the PDF uh, that I've got because I still have it, obviously, and um, do it to a brand new document, and from there just copy and paste it and format it correctly and uh, have it so that all the uh, that the pages have numbers even though for some reason that means also the title page will have a page number for no real reason I can't get rid of it uh, you know so couldn't get rid of it on my next book uh, which actually was able to be formatted correctly and uh, no problems at all but uh yeah if you look at this uh, yeah one but oh well if that's the problem with that then if that's like the only thing uh, that'd be like an issue of sort well at least for me, or whatever. And alright, in the first edition of this, just had that. Even though it, had, it showed it like up here or whatever. Yeah, for whatever reason, the first printing of that uh, was like that for whatever reason, but was able to fix that fairly easily. So that's all well and good. Um, this is a downtime and work conversations just people just talking you know uh because i did uh a pretty uh 
normal, like standard novel you know, story, whatever you want to call it, from beginning to end. I thought I'd uh, try and do multiple stories, you know, short stories, and I had various ideas. Um, but none of them really, I thought, warrant being a full-on book. At least none of that I would think would be all that interesting. Um, uh, or at least, well, I thought they would be interesting for beginning to end. But, you know, when thinking about some of these stories, you know, how many people would be interested in a full-blown... Um, You know, how many people would be interested at all in a full-blown uh, book about people just talking about movies? Where there's no chapters, because it would be like a play or a movie where it's all like in one location. And there is really is no other scenes that take place. It's just people talking for whatever, however long it would be if it was like in a movie. You know, if you were to make something like that into a movie. Um, um, you know, somebody like Quentin Tarantino could do that, but outside of somebody like him, you know, if, even though I guess in a way it was over a hundred pages, but still, uh, compared to this, uh, 200, over 200 pages, that seemed to be a bit light, and, um, in the comparison, I guess, <laughs> lengthwise. So that's fairly short. The shortest story is the second story. It's about like a detective and he has to talk about uh, his, uh, to some criminal he put away because apparently he has more information. And then from there, he talks to people at the station and he talks to his wife, and that's the whole. Uh, 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 short version of the whole thing and uh, then the last one is, uh, takes place in a grocery store and people are just talking so the last two stories of this are really um, would be more uh, more so of an actual short story the first one I guess is a more of a, a fairly length of a fairly short book but I don't know I thought that would fit you know people were just talking and that's it that's all that's going on people talking about whatever and uh because the first story is about people talking about uh movies you know that's why it's long because i really enjoy movies as you all know so there you go um and uh yeah people you know just people talking about stuff me talking about uh you know, me and others, you know, in a way, that whole story, some inspiration does come from a conversation I myself have had with others, and then others, conversations people have had that, you know, I was not in the conversation, I was not, I really had nothing to add to whatever, I was just an observer, or as a bunch of other people were, and from there, um, you know, people just talked about whatever, like or specifically about movies and they were talking about other things you know be it of interest that i had or had no interest of all and stuff of that nature like of opinions and such um though i do get my thoughts about annie hall which you know i'm not a fan of if you all know and i've given my reasons why in a couple of videos um if you enjoy that movie that's fantastic i have no problem with that for me it just wasn't funny the sense of humor of that film and many of other woody allen films you know that sense of humor just isn't for me um also i found his character to be very annoying and i was not all that enthused with it you know um dan keaton was fine but outside of her you know i didn't find anything all that memorable um, at least in a positive way, you know, uh, he, uh, Woody Allen was very annoying, but he was playing himself. And, yeah, I kind of delve into all that there, but, you know, I just, uh, yeah. 
so yeah um but for these books um the wandering sheriff the paperback is uh 963 and the hardcover is 1635 now i've got them up here on my computer that way i would know what they are and yeah if you have kindle unlimited then the books uh, for the ebook is free um pretty sure though if i recall correctly because it's not telling me there right here but it's like i think it was like uh four dollars like you know 3.99 i believe if you don't have kindle unlimited could be wrong and uh the downtime and work conversations book would be it was like five bucks or four ninety nine. Um, but uh, the paperback of this costs nine ninety five, and the hardcover is seventeen uh, thirty five. Yeah, it's thirty five. I thought so. So it is a full dollar. <laughs> The hardcover is a full dollar more than the hardcover of uh, The Wandering Sheriff, 1635 and 1735. And um, those prices are also adjusted so that I get a decent amount of money. You know, I'm able to get like a, you know, for the ebooks, I get about like a, uh, almost like a dollar. And I get over a dollar for the ebook of the, the my short stories. Uh, almost round out, I get like two bucks of royalties from this. Get more, uh, like uh, like three bucks or so of royalties from this. So, and it might seem very low, you know, but of course, then of course, hardback. Uh, uh, it's more than. <laughs> Two or three bucks but i also wanted to price them uh pretty much you know uh relatively fair you know uh, there are some books that are like 25 which is the limit you can have for a book on amazon and you know if i make a huge novel that's very very long you know uh, I, don't know I guess like a thousand page book or so or somewhere around that borrow park uh, i don't know i could then perhaps see you justifying the price of uh, 25 bucks uh being the price for that particular book but i don't know i mean i might uh, i am writing another book right now <clears throat> um, it's like a horror mystery and with horror though i kind of want that to be like a sort of like the atmosphere of like Zodiac, the film Zodiac, where the first like hour where the Zodiac is committing his crimes and everything and it just has this very horror eerie feel to the whole thing. Um then of course the last uh the next hour or so <clears throat> hour like forty five minutes or hour because it's like two hours and 45 minutes or so, I believe, is what the director's cut is. The one that I've been watching for years now. But <clears throat> basically, I kind of want the tone of the book to basically be that whole thing. And, like, people, you know, somebody's going around, you know, killing people. Uh, there's, like, detectives and people investigating and such. So I'm uh, trying to figure out who it is, if there's any clues whatsoever. It takes place in, like, a modern day. And so, on that end, you know, like forensics and such, you know, if there's anything left behind, it's going to be fairly easy to track who it is. This person will have to try to be, you know, just as clever as the police, if not more so, to cover their tracks. Um, and I, ha I do know where I want the whole thing to end. I know from beginning to end, but I'm at the point where, you know, I don't want to just jump cut or whatever or uh, have some time lapse go by and like uh, some minutes later or whatever. Um, but I think I probably will do that a bit more. 
here and there just because, you know, it's at a point where it's like, you know, you need the story to move along, even though it's the beginning now. I'm <clears throat> like 13 pages in or so. And I just started it um, like last week, um, which isn't bad, you know. You know, I try to do like a thousand pages or a thousand, pages, a thousand words a day. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's like whatever you're able to really get out is, um, it, you can't really force yourself to write. Like you can write so much, but sometimes it's, you're not able to get a whole lot out. And that's fine. Um, but, yeah, I just, um, uh, I'm working on that, I, um, <clears throat> and some other things too, but that's something I'm really interested in, and I wanted to just showcase my books, because I've, I realized, like, uh, I've done this a couple times with, I'm gonna tell you about movies, to have, like, books and show those off, and, like, you know, hey, you can buy my books, you know, it's in my, go to the link tree and the first two uh, links there will go to my books and then on Amazon and from there you know you'll you can also on the link tree if you're still there you can then find the social medias and all that stuff but you know I thought this would be a good opportunity to do another proper sort of like um <clears throat> Uh, talk about my books a bit that way uh, uh, you know because uh, you know it's like I've got 400 plus subscribers now so for those who are new and might not know or uh, just uh, might not know too much about them I thought I'd have another uh, like a video where you know, not only do I think uh, those who've just subscribed, uh, <clears throat> but also um, let more people know about the books and also the pricing and all that. So I just hope that uh, this video is, is actually pretty good and it's not all that bad. Uh, apologies if I was a bit all over the place and stuff like I'm trying to figure out like a program and such because for whatever reason I had a brain fart for a moment but hope that wasn't a problem but yeah I just wanted to uh, thank you all and uh, if you want to buy either book or both if you want you know wherever you want to buy it I obviously like you know physical copies but you know for there are people who enjoy books these days uh, digitally and so if that is the case already and uh, I just uh, hope you enjoy them you know I don't think they're the absolute best of what I could write but for what they are I think they're fine my first book obviously won't be the best but I'm not all that upset with it because like you know at some point it's like you gotta stop and you gotta release it <laughs> and uh Say with this, you know, this was, both of these, I guess you could say, sort of like experiments of sort, just to see how my writing would be in a format of a book. And, um, yeah, because I've written other things that be more visual. And uh, I think for the short stories, you know, perhaps some point I could make those into like short films. Um, especially the uh, one where people are talking about movies that'd be pretty cool but obviously I need more than just me um, probably some friends and such and you know find a place that's pretty uh, decent size you know like someone's house or whatever and uh, just you know uh, make it and try to have a good time um so yeah, Western book and a uh, book where people just talk, <laughs> talk about various things, 
we'll all uh, be either just on vacation talking about movies or working and then not working uh, about other things like their jobs and other stuff of the ma of the sort and uh yeah try to make it like these stories uh as interesting as possible but also keep it a thread of conversations and such so you know it's pretty important you know don't want to veer off too far because you know that was pretty much the premise that i had for this book and i didn't want to just deviate too far um also i've heard like uh from some people who've read some of my other stuff like scripts and such friends of mine that they thought dialogue and stuff is pretty good so i thought you know if i wrote something specifically where people were talking it might be good um i did enjoy writing this book quite a bit and so i'm writing another narrative book uh hopefully that will be out by some point next year couldn't tell you when um but you know yeah stay tuned for that thank you for all those who have subscribed and uh if you're new here um i do primarily talk about movies on my channel and occasionally i do talk about or make little short videos films whatever you want to call them uh primarily with just me um because <clears throat> you know when life happens you know, you're not able to get people together all the time so uh, i'm here and all that so yeah <clears throat> Anyway, I hope this uh, video uh, was fine. It wasn't too bad. And, um, yeah. That's all I really have to say. I hope all of you are doing well. Hope your week's going well. Hope you all have a great weekend and a great day. See you all next time.